Hey Connect Kids, happy Easter. I hope you're enjoying some time with uh, family and just relaxing at home. I've loved seeing your crafts, the, the pictures that you've sent in. It's been the highlight of my week and I've especially um, enjoyed seeing all the donkeys that you guys have made as well, just from um, last week's story about Palm Sunday. Um, so this week is Celebration Sunday or Resurrection Sunday. And I'm so excited that um, Granny Smith is gonna be telling her story about or the story of Resurrection Sunday uh, with the help of some Easter eggs. Um, but I've heard great things. I've heard that from your parents that you love Granny Smith and especially her pet donkey. Um, her pet donkey is one of my favorites too. Um, so I hope you enjoy this week. But also don't forget your parents have a little um, a Connect Kids Easter pack for you as well. So enjoy the goodies in there. Um, have a great week and I hope you enjoy the story that Granny Smith has for you today. We'll see you again next week. Hey guys. Yay! Hi children, so good to hear from you this week. Oh, Pastor Alicia was showing me all the crafts that you guys have been doing. They're wonderful to see. Now this week I've got story time with Granny Apple Smith again and I'm so excited to be bringing the Easter story this week. Now last week we shared Palm Sunday and that's where our story is going to start today. The, and this is the lead up to a week before and it's so, a week after Palm Sunday rather. Now it's a bit, bit of a long one but I've got the help of some eggs. Now they're colourful eggs. So let's see what our first egg holds. Oh, it's a bit stuck. Okay. In our first egg, we've got the palm leaf. Now the palm leaf, like I said, represents Palm Sunday. And we can read that verse in Matthew 21, 9, and it says, The multitudes who went before and those who followed cried out, saying, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Remember how we're talking about when Jesus came on that donkey and you got to meet my pet donkey last week and that, that was Palm Sunday. And that's where the Easter story began. Oh, there's my donkey now. He's got a bit of a, a bit of a, a, a tickle in his throat, I think. Now, if we go to the second egg, in it is three coins, three silver coins. And those silver coins actually represent the 30 uh, pieces of silver that Jesus was betrayed for. We can read that in Matthew 26, verse 14 to 15. Then one of the 12 called Judas Iscariot went to the chief priest and said, what are you willing to give me if I deliver Jesus to you? And they counted out 30 pieces of silver. And that's what Jesus was sold for, 30 pieces of silver. And in our third egg, whoop, we have a cracker. And the cracker, the cracker represents the Last Supper. And Jesus had a Last Supper, the last meal with his disciples. And we can read that in Matthew 26, verse 26 to 28. And as they were eating, Jesus took the bread, blessed it and broke it and gave it to his disciples. And he said, take, eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup and gave thanks and gave it to them saying, drink, drink from it, all of you. And in number four, we have a scroll. And the scroll represents the prayer that Jesus did. So in verse 39, he says, Jesus went a little further and fell on his face and prayed saying, Oh my father, if it is possible, let this cup pass before me. 
Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. Jesus knew what was coming, but he knew what was best. Just after he prayed, Jesus was taken and he was captured by the soldiers. And in this fifth egg, I've got a whip. And the whip, it represents that Jesus was beaten, he was mocked and he was bruised. In our sixth egg, I've got a crown of thorns. Matthew 27 verse 29 says, When they had twisted a crown of thorns, they put it on his head and a reed in his right hand, and they bowed the knee before him, mocking him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! So the crown of thorns that was put on his head. And then we can read in Matthew 27, 31, And when they had mocked him, they took the robe off him and put his own clothes on him and led him away to be crucified. In the next egg, we have two nails. And those two nails, they represent the nails that went into Jesus' hands at the cross when Jesus died for us. In Matthew 27, verse 35, we can read, Then they crucified him and divided his garments, casting lots that it may be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet. In the, in the next deck, I have a dice. The soldiers, they gambled and they bet and they, what they called, cast lots for, for Jesus' clothes. And that was a prophecy that was fulfilled as well. And in this ninth deck, I have a spear. This represents the spear. In John 19.34, it says... But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, the soldiers pierced his side with a spear and immediately blood and water came out. It represents that. And in my tenth egg, I've got a piece of cloth. This represents the linen. So Matthew 27 verses 59 says, When Joseph had taken the body, he wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and he laid it in the new tomb which, was, which he had hoed out of the rock and rolled a large stone against the door of the tomb and departed. So when Jesus had died, he got wrapped in cloth and he was placed in a tomb. In our uh, next egg, we have a stone. In Matthew 27, 66, it says, Pilate said to them, you have a guard, go your way, make it as secure as you know now. They went and made the tomb secure and they sealed the stone and set that guard that was sealed in, in, in place. The stone was sealed in place so that nobody could get to Jesus' body. And the last egg, I think it's the most important of all. Let's see what's inside. It's actually empty. The egg is empty because this egg represents the empty tomb. In Matthew 28, 25, it says, But the angel answered and said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has risen as he said. Come, see the place where the Lord lay. And that is a little story of the Easter. Jesus went to the cross and he died for us. He died for our sins so that we could be saved. And that's special and that's important. Jesus loved us so much, so very much that he went to the cross and he died for us. But the thing is, he didn't just stay, stay there like the empty, empty egg represents. 
the empty tomb. Jesus rose again so that we could have eternal life. And that's such an important, special story at this time. I hope you've enjoyed the story, children. And we hope you enjoy your crafts. And we'll see you next week again with Storytime with Granny Apple Smith. Happy Easter.